Hello, Twitch. Haha, I'm here in the background. It's three minutes left to go. Uh, what should we do? Shall we get started on that? Well, yeah, we want to get back to the... Um, uh, what do we want to do? We want to get back to that skelly spawner this morning. That's definitely something that we want to get on with. I think we should just crack on. What do you reckon? Should we just should we just get this going this morning? Shall we? Let's do it. Let's get into the game. It's time for some Minecraft. I can't wait any longer. Congratulations if you're here before seven o'clock this morning. Because you get to see the unseen early stream action. Coming to you live from Steamcraft server. If anyone's watching me like now, they're probably about to tune out thinking I'm completely crazy. Ah. Anyway, so yesterday I was sorting this mess out. We now have an active bubble stream that goes all the way to the top. Would you like a big screen so you can watch? Like that. There we go. Yes, so I think the skellies can get in here okay without bobbing their heads up and down. Let's just try this. Right, there's moss grown on the side. So they'll like come down here. This will be really slow. There we go. And they'll probably be doing this. They'll be like bob, 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 bob. Bobby, bobby, bob, 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 bob. And they do go under that. I think that goes under there all right. I might just take another one out there. I don't want them hitting their heads on the way in. I mean... Because that's what happens. They tend to bob about like that. And I've got this little issue here where... I just can't get the water stream to go where I want it to. I think these... I have actually got water streams in them, yeah. But I can't, I couldn't work out how to get that to go across there. I couldn't remember how to do it. And I th there's some like weird thing you can do with like a step or something, or. Because if I take that out, the water flows to the edge, but that flows back the other way I don't think there's any way of removing this because I get that effect and then it just pushes the water back then can't for the life of me remember how you're supposed to do it so it might just be that the skeletons are just going to get pushed into this corner here and then eventually You get bunged up the top there like that. And they try and swim, so they get pushed along here. It's not the fastest system going. Ah! Well, I'm glad I left some water down here. Dear. I can't believe I did that. That'd have been great. That'd have been my first death on screen. That's not very good going. No. no one saw a thing. No one's here. <laughs> um, yes, I'm not quite sure how efficient that really is at the moment. But it's going to do for now. Think until I can work out exactly how to It must be seven o'clock. The game is saved. Um, work out what we're going to do there. So the skellies go up the tube, down the tube and end up in here so I don't need these here anymore, I put these here yesterday because I just had a water stream coming down and the idea is they'll land there and they just get one heart of damage when they land on that so I think 
I brought enough materials. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a, uh, a chest down underneath that. And we want enough materials to make some hoppers. So let's get that first. And we want another chest like so. That in the middle. Where's the hopper button? Get the hopper button. Goes like that. So there should be enough damage if they fall down from there. So I'm gonna let's just experiment with this at the moment and see how many hearts they end up with when they get to here. That do. And then we're just gonna put a couple of blocks around here, like so. They'll fall here, they'll have their heads there. I think I can get away with a half slab on there. And I can just like kill their feet. Pretty certain that's the thing. I oh, know the dustmen have turned up. Oh for God's sake. One moment. I haven't put the bins out. I'm back! I'm here! You probably heard all of that, didn't you? Here we go, oh, life. Blooming dustman. Oh. Oop. Pressing all the wrong buttons now. Didn't have to... I'm out of breath now. I had to run up down the stairs. Right, should we see if we can get this thing going? see what actually happens let's get rid of all the junk out of my inventory first so much here I don't need uh, let's just get rid of stuff I don't want um, I've got more than enough stone really stick Is there room for stick in the box no then a throw stick because I can't be messing around with all this stuff. Right. Let's go in there and... I use the scaffolding because the scaffolding is disposable to some extent. Oh, I wanted to put a door down there, didn't I? That'd actually help. too much inventory door needs to be on this side like so that way skellies don't come in there I'm gonna make another chest here just annoying me having all this inventory bit of a mess up here but I don't care right now I would actually make for a run for it out of the uh, the thing the thing thing can I reach that one probably not Oop. Really? How'd you, like, jump? 
Oh, that's the way of doing it. That one. Very careful knocking these out because uh Knew that happen. God, it actually made me jump. Oh, get off. I'm just going to come down and beat you to death. Get out of the way. It's going to get very dark in here. Die. Oop. Right, I've got all the torches in there. I'm going to leave one on the back of the thing. Goodness sake. I think I did. Let's get my hearts back up. I think what I'll do is I'll take this one out. Yeah, I left one in there. Should be able to get to it from around here. Or is it just... Uh, I think it's just the light level coming in from here. Um, oh look, I've got a few arrows in my head. That's not good, is it? Where's that door? Do the doors block light to some extent? I think they do. I thought it'd do better than that. That's really not blocking the light, is it? I might just block this off for now. I'll just do that. That'll reduce the light level in there a bit more. I think just for now I'm gonna because I just want to get the spawner going could use a piston door down there that would work that would stop the light getting in right now the question is where are the skeletons aha a skeleton now are you a single click death Yes. Would appear they are coming across very slowly. I just need to improve the water streams, I think, more than anything. I can hear them. It seems quite good. All right, okay, okay. Yep, there's definitely a supply of skeletons coming across. Yep, two. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my camera count up. And have a look from there. Actually see what's going on. So let's bring in the MIG saw. I don't want that one recording anything on the screen, so I'm just going to bring that in like that. Make sure I actually drink my coffee this morning as well. A kidoki, a multiplayer. There, I'm going to just, I'm just going to stick this screen on the other side. There we go. See my players joined. So 
Because I always find it really useful to have... Oh, blimey, yeah, I can definitely see skeletons going across. Ah, right, okay. Our problem seems to be... The skeletons are accumulating at the top of the water stream. I'm not quite sure. They're not coming up high enough to get pushed over. That seems to be the problem. So if I can get this screen here over there like that. There we go. Tab away from there. If I just pause that screen there, like that, and go back to there, and go back to the game here. Right. So, there is a load of skeletons stuck at the top of this. They've got to find a way of... I don't think they're spawning while I'm over here, which is a good sign. Oh, they are spawning while I'm over here. There's loads of them. It's like a whole little... Fe there must be about 30 of the damn things. Hmm. Okay. How am I going to do this? So, I need to get in there, deal with them, and find a way of pushing them up one block higher. I think I know how to do that. That skeleton spawn is going absolutely crazy with the amount coming across, I tell you. This is the idea, we're just going to like punch them all to death. I like the excess stuff drops through there. We've now got entity cramming going on. That's the noise you can hear. Oh, see, one's just got thrown across. Right. Yeah, they're sort of entity cramming up the top there now. So I need to get in there. It appears I can get in from above. I think we did look at that before. So have I got a load of... Got a load of ladders here. So this might be used as a bit of an access tunnel going up. I won't build it there actually. That's just going down there. So if I build up If I build up here, this will be next to the water channel, and then I can just like come through the side of them. Well actually what I could probably do is come in around the back, because this is the back wall, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Let's do that. So we're going to sneak up here. And I'm going to go... I might actually go to the outside, because I might actually use this as the entrance way in. Oh, using the wrong tool. Where is that spider? hear him there must be like caves nearby oh you can definitely hear all those skeletons up there now and they're taking damage from each other one of the advantages of having a server and uh, being out bringing a, a camera account you could actually also do this from your own normal world oh, I'll run out of ladders <laughs> Goodness sake. Um, don't want to like walk into them. I think I'm okay if I go that way. And then. I should be safe to like dig my way out of here. Ah, daylight. There we go.
it's like you can hear how noisy this is down here there's like so I've got to work out roughly where they are uh, let's have a look if I'm in yeah they sound like they're there ah there we go Ah. Are you guys all getting a little bit excited in there now that you've seen me? So they're all shooting each other. <laughs> ah, you crazy pieces. I know there's more of you in there. I can see you. take you all out there we go die my little friends there we go right so definitely don't want to dig that hole down so my plan is and I'm gonna get random skeletons keep coming in here and trying to attack me uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna block this off because I'm gonna get mobs coming in here they can't get in there. That's all right. Let's put a torch there. You can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. So, down this hall is where we need to fix the problem. What we need to... I think what I need to do is I need to build this up a little bit. If I put the... If I allow the water source to come up to there, so it's level with the top, they'll pop up and then have a water source block there that runs across the top and then down. I probably need to make that a little bit higher in there so that we can see what's actually going on. So I need, can I be cunning and if I block the water source there, then I can't end up getting sucked into the machine. Let's get... Luckily, they can't spawn from this far away. Uh, I want to block this water off, don't I? That's it. Right. That's got rid of that water source. That'll do it to start with. Then... Hi there! Uh, welcome to chat. Uh, assess is, uh, I don't know how to say your name. I'm going to apologize in advance. I am pretty rubbish when it comes to saying people's names. Welcome to my pre work stream. So just trying to uh, fix my uh, spawner here. Oh. You obviously said something that uh, the, uh, the the spam bot didn't like. Yep, no swearing. Yeah, people get caught out that one. You don't need to swear, mate. Uh, come on, give me the... Give me the bits. Oh no, I've just got myself stuck in this stupid water stream. One moment, please. Thank you. We're just fixing up a spawner here because um, all went a little bit crazy. I got the wart heights about wrong. So that should work now. Yep, so the water stream's going to go over the top there. If I put the bubbles there, the skellies will come up to here and then go across. Uh, oh, it was the way you say your name. Oh, okay. As. Oh, okay, because you put ass, I guess. Ass, can I just... I can't call you ass, can I? Um, <laughs> that would be inappropriate. Right, so that sorts that bubble stream out there. And I'm going to put a bubble stream above the top here. Um, how am I going to pronounce your name? 
I sh could just call you AZ. That would work. Uh, right, that there, like that, and that there, like that. And then I'm going to take this one out there. And I want to put a water stream there. Oh, thanks for the follow. Saz. 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 That sounds good. Let's watch a stream with Mon PJC trying to say users' names in chat. Um, Saz. 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 Sounds like there's nasty mobs out there above me. Um, I want to go fill my bucket up. Where are you? Peekaboo! I think they're down underneath me. Nope. I went around. I thought if I come out here I can grab this water source. Oh no! Incoming spider. I can hear him. Nope. My base is all the way over there, by the way. Well, this is a... Uh, what do you call that? This is a steampunk world. That I don't want to go back down there. Where's the hole I just made? There it is. It's over there. Such a skilled player. It's, it's a bit of a shock, really, I know, for people. Um, right, that there should work. I think. Let's put a block there and then I can stand there. I think that's... I think that's gone all the way down. It has. Aha. Sorted. So this will be like the uh, maintenance area for uh, sorting the skeletons out. Should we see if it's actually worked down the bottom now? There we go. Down the hall we go. Ah, da, 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 da. Right, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I love having questions in chat. But actually, I don't want to put them in the... Uh, yeah, I will put them in there because... Right. Aha! We have skeletons coming over now. That's a good sign. Uh, okay, you say it's like this other world or bottom then says. Oh, other word. Says. I don't know. I'm confused. I'm easily confused. This looks good. We've got skeletons. So, I'm fairly early into starting this world. I've played about 11 hours or so on stream. And the in here, behind this wall, we found a skeleton spawner. Which is what I was looking for mainly because I knew there was one around here somewhere. Because I could hear the skeletons from up there, you see. So, I've dug in my last stream a big hole out in there and in actual fact if you check out my YouTube channel then actually that's a complete lie because that actually goes to my primary channel but I have Twitch as well where I post stuff up but what you'll actually be looking for is Mon, uh, if I can spell my own name, PJC2, which is the channel where I upload all the Twitch streams that I do. So in my last stream, I was digging this hole out and clearing it out so that we could get this skelly spawner working. So I have underneath here a nice little wall stream, brings the two wall streams together. Hello, hello, welcome back to the stream. Your name is a pretty pink colour this morning. That's interesting. I never noticed that. Your name always been pink like that. I suppose, I don't know. So in here, I'll be brave and go in here. 
we have our skeleton spawner up there. Ah! And they're going to try and shoot me. And I've put water sources in the corners, unlike a lot of mob spawners, so that the you're shooting each other now, so that the water stream goes towards the centre. They then get sucked down a hole there. It, oh, her name's Blue. Oh, that's weird. And then in there we got some soul sand, which we collected from the Never. That was the last time me and Halo were there. Yep, so me and Halo play on this server together. So the soul sand goes in there. It gets sucked up the tube. They, they, they get sucked up the tube. The, um, the skellies. They go across the water stream over the top there, which is what I was just fixing. And then they drop down this hole. And the idea is is that when they drop here, they've only got like half a heart left of life. They're on top of this hopper and the chest. Right, so let's just see what we get from these guys. They will entity cram after a while when there's more than 24. So they'll naturally die. And then I can just punch them with a brick. So my XP's going up. There's a lot of them in there. Get in there. in quicker than I can kill them. There we go. So, I didn't pick anything up. You say it like sas sasas. Sasas. Uh, even Halo's got timed out now trying to say that name. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, as you can see, we've got 25 arrows, 22 bones, and three bows just from that uh, one little session of bits and pieces. And I went up from level 12 to 17, so there's quite a bit of XP gone up quite a bit. Yeah, don't, don't worry, Halo. I know you, were, you weren't swearing. It's the, uh, the, the bot chat. It can be a bit sensitive sometimes, or what's said to it. I'm just going to fill this chest up with all the junk I've been collecting. So I've got a full set of arrows now, which is really cool. It means I can go out there and attack and kill things. Uh, what did I come in here for? Ah, wood. Right, so. It's going to be a bit hard work keep hitting them with a block. So what I'm going to do is make some wooden swords. Which seems like a bit of a naff idea why would you want to use wooden swords but a, sw a sword has like a sweeping edge to it so it actually hits more than one mob at a time so if I sweep this it will hit all of them see how loads of them go up wow look at that see so you can kill all those mobs in just a couple of, um, of hits there you go, you got loads of drops. How is telling someone their colours on the stream foul language? I don't know. I mean, you could, uh, you're going to have to have a chat with me later and tell me what you actually put. That's really cool. Excellent. I'm really pleased with this. So what we're going to be doing, Halo and Sass, is building a bigger area in here to put our enchanting table and our book. What was that scary noise? Um, yeah, so they, uh, my voice is going. <clears throat> so that we can do enchanting here while we're actually doing this. This is a bit basic at the moment. and We'll make this look a lot prettier, but it's working. That's the key thing. And 
What I could probably do, I've never actually tried this in Streamlabs. What I really need to be able to do is find a way of actually showing you the stream across the two. Because if I move my player from where he is now, you won't see what's going on. Uh, ah, I explained it. It makes sense. Right, so I'm just going to get rid of my camera account, which I've got open on the other screen. Because I was using that to see why the um, spawner wasn't working. There's meant to be a space between the S on the end of this and the A. I don't know what that noise was. It's just like some impending doomy scary sound. Uh, this and the A. I don't know. I'm really going to give up. I'll speak to Halo later. She'll explain it to me. And then I'll be much better at saying your name next time you're in stream. So the other thing I talked about was making a piston door here so that you can actually see what's going on. So when you stand here, that goes and then you can see it and then it stops the light getting in. So that's something I want to do. I'm going to need some redstone to bring over for doing that. That'd be cool. Uh, yeah, I, I really do apologise. I am not a very good uh, person at reading. Ah, who was that? This is something that we need to do as well, is sort out this, um... Okay, where's that skeleton? Oh! Oh. Is that where you were? <laughs> I'm so glad I got the replay mod on. That's going to be funny. I'm going to be like, where was he? So we're going to need to light this area up and that will help with the mob spawning. And I can't quite see what's down there. Oh, there's a skeleton down there as well. All this looks like it's going to collapse on us at some point. Yep, so we'll have to expand this area out as well. That'd be quite cool. So I'm really pleased with that. That's awesome. Yeah, look, so just been like wandering around. You could do a bit of enchanting and then come back here and go for it. Wow, look at that. Loads of XP. How did I make my XP bar multicolored? Um, so I have a resource pack. Uh, let's have a look. So you go in your options and then there is this resource pack here. And I have my very own Mon PJC stroke vanilla tweaks a version for data pack. Um, I could put this up somewhere. Uh, it's, it's quite, you know, fancy for everyone. It's got quite a lot of different things in it. So it includes the texture pack for everything that was version free. Um, you'll notice it does some little things like the bows there. They're worn out as the older they get. They look like they're about to break. So it's a bit more visual in there. The colours in here are a little bit stronger as well. So if you go to a website called Vanilla Tweaks, they uh, it's run by Exuma. Um, but it's a load of mods that are uh, developers that are on there and they do these things. So yeah, I get a multicolored uh, bar on there. I can't remember all the different things that it does. It, it does it does loads of things. And it, like even your tools, when you're holding them, they look like they wear out, they get older. So if I pick up one of these bows, I, I don't know if you can see in my right hand there, it actually, oop, I didn't mean to do that, actually looks worn out. Whereas if I hold that one, see it's all nicely together, the shape of it, it's got a nice shape. Whereas that one definitely looks worn out. Yeah, so there's loads of little things that you can add on. I think it's a fantastic tool. Does lots of little different features. Uh, so I have a number of data packs that I also run on this server. But the chest is getting 
full up. Nope. So I run a number of data packs on here as well, which allows for some improvements with the game as well. And I can never remember which ones are in which. But yeah, what I will do is after this stream, I will put, because this video will be pushed up onto my MonPJC2 YouTube channel. And I will put a link to it there. Or what I do is it's in the bottom of the stream. I will put the information down there. I could do have another hopper there. Um, no, so my server, yeah, I do have a server, but I have a closed private server. And the reason for that is because it's a bit laggy. It's not massively fast. And it's all right. I'm trying to talk and do something at the same time, but I'm not brilliant at that. There we go. I want another hopper like that. I'll just put that one there just to catch anything that falls off the edge so yeah so hey becca yep so it's a private server but i'm looking to recruit more people in and someone i was speaking to the other night i said it's basically i'm going to invite people uh, because i'm just like a i don't know how do you describe it me and Halo will discuss who we're going to invite in. And as the community grows, the community will get that say. So there's no application process. I want to see what people are capable of doing. I want to know that they're nice, they support, they maybe do some streaming and play games themselves. And that may be exactly who you are. And we just want to build like a nice friendly environment. But yeah, we've got this working. This is really good. I've got the replay mod going, so it'd be quite good so that I can maybe this weekend. Yep, I got the thing working. Get the skelly spawner working. And what I want to do is do a little video the weekend and I can sort of like do a bit of a replay of how I actually built it and got it working. So that'd be quite cool. Yeah, there's loads going on. So what time is it? Uh, right, it's getting dark. I'm going to make up. I don't really want these swords. I have to put them back here. I'm going to go and get some redstone. And we're going to have a go at making some of those automatic doors. So this is all going to be tidied up and look, made to look pretty. Got any redstone. Oh, I've got some redstone here. That's really cool. I still ask the challenge of everyone. This golden apple. Right? This is going to be like my challenge in chat for people. This golden apple looks different from a normal golden apple. Do you know where this golden apple has come from? As in, it's somebody who's a YouTuber and streamer. Do you know them from the apple? I mean, I'm just interested. I think it'd be fun. Is there anything else there I needed? Um, no, I don't think I need anything else in there. This is all going to be part of the underground steampunk city that we're building. I'm going to get loads of XP from building this lot. Ah, so I want some of that, some of that, and some of that. And oh, oh, slime. I need slime, don't I? Why has my piston not come up? sure I've got enough stock in here to get make a piston. What am I missing? Have I not crafted one so it doesn't show me what to do? Oh, no. Um, no. I think, ah, oh, oh, green or mumba. You you know your hermits. Um, It's not a hermit. That's all I'm going to say. Not, not far away, really. Now I'm trying to remember, how do I make a piston? I've forgotten. Um, it's been so long. I know it's got metal across the top. I'm sure it's got like a stick there. And stone. Oh, I need wooden planks. <laughs> oh, it's been so long since I've made this stuff. 
This is what happens when you come back into a world and you haven't made one for a while. There we go. Just don't... Ah, uh, yeah, right, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Right. So... Uh, say Scar. No, there's definitely not a Hermit. I'm liking your thinking, though. Definitely the Hermits tend to refer to this person quite a bit. And he has a really weird intro tune. Giving away too many clues. Um, right now, what am I doing? I want to make a. I want to make another one of those. Stick planks, planks. Need planks. It's the only problem when you're near a skeleton spawner. They're noisy. Right. So I need some slime now. Now, I don't know if I've got any slime. Uh, this is normally where I'm asking Halo what we've got in storage. Let's go over there and have a look. There we go. Hopper's finally caught up with everything going through. Nearly got 30 levels. That's awesome. Let's put that there. Da, 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 da. Right, let's go over to the base. To the bat cave. Go this way up. Oh no, it's raining. I want to use that thing. I don't know if you've anyone's seen it on YouTube. There's this um, like advert. And I have no idea what the advert is for. As you can see, my the uh, army of uh, iron golems are still here. Excuse me, sheepy. Oh my goodness. I swear there's a mechanic wrong in the game somewhere. There can't, there shouldn't be this many iron golems. As a baby. It... There's the cat. Ah, there's Dog J. Hello, Dog J. Meow. I think I made you sit here because you kept wandering off, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, there's a villager head. Oh my goodness. So we have a baby villager over there. Are you guys... You do realise you're trampling on... Oh my god, that villager's warping in and out of the space-time considering. Yeah, the house is not bad. This is a... It's actually one that I saw on the internet uh, many years ago. You sounding anything any good? No. And um, it's like a farmhouse. I love the lanterns. Lanterns are awesome. It's like they're all sleeping out there in the rain and there's empty beds in here. There's no accounting for villagers. There's no slime over here. And the cats sleep on the beds, which is also really cool. I mean, this is an iron army, isn't it? it it's, it, it, you're not in the bed, dude. Right, let's go over here, back towards the main base. We did a smoke trail so we could find it in the distance. So this is going to be a whole steampunky city. That's basically the only house here so far. <laughs> we found some different wood types. We've been to the Never. We've got a chicken farm and there's a cat in there. I don't know what to say about the fact that there's a cat in with the... Ah! Dude, don't scare me like that. Oh, but Jesus. I'll go in the base rather than walk around talking about stuff in the dark. <laughs> Right, so that's Halo's dog that needs a name and her chickens. I don't know where your other chickens are gone. Oh, there's two there. You got anything? Oh, there's loads of them in here. Slime. I need slimes. Have we got any slime? I can't make sticky pistons if I don't have slime. Oh, man. Hope you haven't got it in your inventory, Halo. 
We can get. Mm. Ah, poop. Yep, so we got this enchanting room which we started on in here. Um, I still like the way it looks. I think I like this like little tiny cozy environment. I love these. These are brilliant compared to ender chests. Fantastic. Uh, so we're going to move all of that over to where the skeleton spawner is. See there's been a few heads collected en route and this storage system will expand as well. We'll have auto sorting storage. We're going to have steampunking and all sorts of things. I tell you what, I've just, I've, I've got um, Discord open in the corner of the screen and I've just seen, um, I'm not sure if that's Dank that's posted something in the stream there, uh, ending the week like, and um, that's just really, really funny with um, Mr. Bean in it. I'm going to have to find that picture and send it to Halo because um, she'll find that immensely amusing. Jevin. Uh, I, I thought Jevin was a uh, one of the one of the hermits. Where did I put it? Was it? Oh, it was in the chest over there, wasn't it? And it's a golden apple, but it's a retextured golden apple. Actually, if you went on Vanilla Tweaks, you could actually find out where it's from. I should actually consider doing a prize for this, shouldn't I? Right, I don't think I can sleep. Yeah, it's too late now, and it's raining. So what I want to do is out past the village. There was a. We've got enough time. I'm going to head out and see if I can get some slimes. No, the person whose apple it is isn't a hermit, and they've never been a hermit. People have asked them to be a hermit. I think Jevin's an active hermit. He's been doing other stuff. Vanilla Tweaks, not Twitch. It's the website. And I'm also uh, doing a point system in chat on here. So if you part, uh, do the command exclamation mark points with an S on the end, it will tell you how many. It will tell you how many uh, chunks points you have collected. And I tell you, it was great fun bringing the villagers all the way across this the first time. And also, if you type the word poppies. P O double P I E S. There we go. You've got 102 spawn point uh, chunk points, and part of that is because you did a follow. And poppies shows how long you've been in chat. And these points, I am going to make it so you can redeem them, or I'm going to do like a a monthly, you know, top person, and give away some points. I can't. Th I think it was Becker I was talking to. I was um, saying in chat about uh, Steam credits or something like that, so that my, my most active viewer or something gets a like a little prize or something for it. Or we could do giveaways and competitions in the future. Obviously, when I start, yeah, like a leaderboard thing. So I might make it say it's like the most number of poppies or something, but just keep the chunks as just like an overall thing. Or I don't know. I'm still trying to work it out in my head at the moment. But the thing switched on, and we'll see what happened. Now I came over this way. I'm sure I saw a swamp, which means if there's a swamp over here I should stand a chance when it's dark at finding this isn't very swampy I'll be able to find that looks like a swampy tree oh no that's a yeah 
because I was looking at it from a distance it might have been birch trees I saw and I thought they were oh donkeys <gasps> multiple donkeys oh that's good um yeah I'm not sure why your score didn't show up there it should be poppies it should come up and work Oh yeah, it did. Yeah, I've got 22 poppies. You've been watching half an hour. Yeah. But obviously, you need to be in for a while before you see stuff. Maybe this was a lot further away than I thought it was. I went wandering. The other thing I'm going to do is, because this is a spigot server, although I'm playing predominantly... That's the ocean. that swamp over there hmm can't see um, no that's not ocean there's ocean there that's cool is that oh that's sand I thought there was ice for a minute then is that a swamp not sure I don't think it is I like that arch that's cool that could be a really interesting feature that definitely looks like a desert island over there, doesn't it? Now the game's still rendering. You can see the blueness of the water. So I've got really high render distance switched on. I've got about 25 chunks. I think it just looks that little bit better when you're like looking off into the massive distance. That it would be a natural thing you would be able to do is see a really long way. And I like that hazy cloudy look that you get in the back there and as you can see even from here I can see that village you know you'd go up a hill if you were out in the in the distance somewhere you'd go oh, I'd go up a hill and I want to know where I am and that's one of the things that makes this server quite laggy ha ah, there's the swamp I was right next to it because um, it's got such a high render distance and obviously all these chunks need to be loaded in and every time you go out another chunk distance, you add a whole new, like, massive multiple of chunks that need to be loaded in. So if you had a render distance of one, for example, then you'd only load one chunk. If you had a render distance of two, you surround that one chunk with more chunks, you end up with nine chunks. And then I think it goes up to... That'd be another four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on top of nine. So that's 21 or something like that. So the numbers go up quite quickly. So that's why a lot of servers only have a render distance of like six. And... Actually, I'm going to make a boat to go around over here. What have I got on me? I haven't got much of anything. Right, uh, tree. No, so they didn't give me the apple, as in physically give me. It's part of the Vanilla Tweaks mod pack, or resource pack. And it's... It's one of those items that was just sort of put in there for fun. To sort of represent that particular person. Let's make a boat. Really got you going now, haven't I? You're really sort of like challenged thinking about this. Why can't I click on my boat? There we go. We're going to wander out into the swamp. Because it's getting... Eight. Oh, I've not heard that name. That must be someone I don't know. I'm going to go out into the swamp. And this should encourage... That lily pad. 
I will collect the lily pad. Swamp biome, this is swamp biome. So we should get some slimes spawning in this area. Brick self. <laughs> ah, I feel there's too much guessing going on. If I said Psycraft, would that help? Think about Psycraft. You're probably now Googling Psycraft. I really should drink my coffee sooner in the stream. I need like a coffee timer that tells me like first five, six minutes not to drink it because it's too hot, but to drink it before 20 minutes rather than waiting 56 minutes, which I've now been doing. What's my up time? That's the wrong screen. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a professional YouTuber, not. Uh, one hour and 10 minutes, awesome. Right, it's time for slimes. Where are the slimes? Come on, we want slimes. Yeah, I don't want to be too close to the shore because that'll actually stop them spawning. Like the little fishy are jumping at me in the water. Ah. Uh, the lovely sounds of Minecraft. No, our dear friend Notch. Do I have a shout out command working? Um. Oh, the uh, exclamation mark uh, SO that people do, and then the name of the person. Uh, I don't know. I've never actually set that up. I did see that in stream. Uh, people doing that, and I thought that'd be really cool. I don't know how they got it set up. There we go, we've got some slimes. So, I don't know if you've got that working on your stream, was it, Becca? I would be interested to know what it is. All right, this could be interesting. Come on, little slime. Come on, come here. Thank you. All right, so a bit of mob killing. I'm going to have to do the work in a minute, you know. No, it's not Marcus Pearsons, is the originator, the person who designed and created Minecraft, aka Notch, his in-game name, who then sold the game to Microsoft for a large amount of money. I don't really blame him. Unfortunately, in recent times, he's been heard to say things that are not particularly nice and pleasant. And uh, the suggestion is that maybe money's gone to his head. To be honest, he made the game, he sold it, good for him. There's not many people who get that opportunity. Uh-oh, phantoms. Ah! Okay, so who forgot to sleep? That'd be me. Did you, you're throwing potions at yourself there, witch. Oh, right, that, that is still with you. Go away. I want the slimes. Uh, I can get the code in from my obs and send it to you in Discord message. That'd be awesome. Fantastic. So yeah, so um, as 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 uh, if you would like to check out Becca, then. Um, she also does streaming not at the moment though she will be doing them again very soon hopefully when uh, she's got her internet connection sorted out i'm gonna have to tell you aren't i or should i just like leave you waiting
I didn't know this was going to turn into a mob killing exercise. Right, you need to die, little thing. Oh, the phantoms are at it again. Where are they? There. Go away. Gotcha. Thank you. There are more of them. I don't think they can get me under the tree. I thought I'd been sleeping. It really been more than three nights. That's one of the other things that I've got on here as well, I think, is um, the mob pack is such that if you don't sleep, the phantoms get bigger over time. Come here. And um, so the longer you don't sleep, the bigger the phantoms get. And also the more damage they'll also do as well. Die, bony. Which is a cool way of doing stuff. It sort of makes you have to fight harder to kill them. Where are you? Can I get him with a bow? Nope. Can't get him with a bow. Bean. Bean. Uh, several players had bigger phantom mob pack, and there's also been some complaints that it's been removed. Um, yeah, I mean, I wish it was longer before they came in. I mean, it's like three or four nights, and they start spawning. And when you think it's like every 20 minutes, a lot of the time something like this, you want to actually be asleep, or you want night time to actually play the game. They're okay as a mob. I wish you could get more with them. I was actually going to add, because I can do some data packs and stuff like that, the stuff I've done myself. And I was going to do it so that if you like collect the phantom membranes that they drop, that you could actually make elytras from them, rather than having to go to the end and finding the end ships to do them. I thought that might be a good way of doing stuff. That way it'll encourage you to actually sort of like go after them. Yeah, because it's not too hard to add crafting packs. There's some nice websites that show you how to do it. You can just literally go on there and create the crafting recipe. So you put the items into the crafting bench in the order you want to do them. You could even do it if you want to like cook stuff. So you'll notice that I don't mind collecting the uh, rotten flesh. And that's because on here, I've made it that you can cook rotten flesh and get lava from it. Uh, not lava, what am I talking about? You can get leather. I'm sorry. I did mean to make a big hole there, but you did come after me. Now, I saw another slime somewhere. Where was he? Over here. So, yes, yeah, you can get stuff to... I mean, I wouldn't do stuff that's a bit too OP. I mean, I'm not going to do something like, oh, well, if you cook rotten flesh, you get diamonds. You know, there'd be no point in adding that in. You want to stay within the spirit of the game. So, I think adding stuff where you can just like make items that are more difficult to get hold of like saddles saddles are a real pain to get hold of and people want to have horses and stuff like that um can you tell me the person right it's il mango uh because it's actually more of a mango than in the if you look at it than it is a than an apple and in the vanilla tweets data pack if you look at the fun section i like the way the dynamic lighting makes the creeper like oh i fell in a hole oops 
Got a bit close to that one, wasn't I? Excuse me, I just want to have something to eat. And then I'll kill you. Thanks. Yeah, so... Yeah, Eel Mango is the name of the person whose apple, golden apple that is. And it's just a shout out to him and all the stuff that they do on the Sidecraft server. Well, I've got six slime bits here. That's pretty good going. Let's just, like, clear these guys out of the way. And I need to get myself sorted out. And back to base. Where's the boat? So that I can start ending my stream off. Yeah, so there's a shout out. There's loads of fun stuff in there. There's like wacky textures. You can even choose to do things like collect the textures from the old alpha version of the game. I don't know if you've been playing that long. I certainly started playing when it was 1.710. I remember the whole 1.8 coming out and everyone going, oh no, it's broken and you can't use your worlds from before and all of that sort of stuff. And I do understand why people got upset about that sort of thing, but it's got to move on. Yeah, so I started playing just when 1.8 started. That was around... I think it was November 2013, somewhere around then, when I first started playing. Pretty certain. Going to have to come back for these donkeys. Yeah, so making... Getting rotten flesh to make leather, to then make saddles in a crafting bench so that you can ride your donkey is great. Because otherwise you've just got to luckily find... I mean, why would you not be able to make leather... If you can make leather armour, why can't you make leather saddles? I know it's sort of added as a high-end feature, but I like adding little bits to the crafting recipes just to improve things. I was actually watching Exuma's... Uh, 1 million subscriber video that he put out he's just hit 1 million subscribers and he was doing the story and the history of some of the stuff that they did and they were involved in putting together a data pack for when the when Mojang did the whole joke about Minecraft version 2 coming out and all the different things they would put in it and there were things like withers would like give you hearts or something like that and they were like pink and all sorts of weird things and it was all quite funny and one of the things that was actually added in there was a uh, colored glass so at that point it was never actually in the game but they put it in there as a sort of oh you can have colored glass and you know you just surround uh, a colored object with glass and then it becomes that colour and that's now in the game it's a standard thing it's really interesting how the game has evolved and it will keep evolving as well which is nice have I gone the wrong way? I think that's the direction I'm supposed to be going see jungle tree that was one of my things in the map. I think I got myself turned around here somewhere. So much for finding my way back. And knowing where I'm going. Ah, there we go. Do, do, do. I know where I am now and where I'm going to build the dam. So I'm right next to my base. Well, mine and Halo's base, our little hobbit hole that we've made. So thank you everyone for coming in to chat. I unfortunately now have to go and get myself to work because I need an income to pay the bills and to be able to pay for my coffee that I have and my internet connection and my server and life basically, which is not fair. So yes, thank you very much for coming along. Uh, I'll put my feeds up on the screen there so you can see them. I've got a YouTube chat. Who's pushing me? Stop doing that. Um, 
I've got a YouTube channel, I've got Twitter, I've got an Instagram, which I'm rubbish at updating and Halo needs to beat me up for doing it more. There's a Facebook group as well. I'm also going to put up some links for Discord, but my name, Mon PJC, is everywhere across the internet and you can find me somewhere doing something. Thanks very much for watching. I unfortunately have to go now. It's been a pleasure having you in chat and I really look forward to having you back again soon. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye.